touch the spindle. Touch it, I say. <gasps> you poor, simple fools. Thinking you could defeat me. Me, the mistress of all evil. Alright you guys, so I am back again going to attempt another look for you guys and this look here is going to be Maleficent. Um, the Sleeping Beauty um, story was like my ultimate, like all time favorite, you know, fairy tale before The Lion King hit. You know, Lion, The Lion King is my favorite, favorite movie in like the whole wide world, like the first Lion King. Um, but Sleeping Beauty was like my favorite before then. I watched um, that movie like on an actual video tape. Like it was I think maybe about 15 minutes and like I had like bukus of videos. There were like or old fairy tale movies. Um, there were like all like 15 minute tapes and now that I look back I'm like dang how much did y'all pay for this and this movie was probably only about 15 to 20 minutes you know um but it that was like my favorite favorite movie like when i was younger um but today i definitely want to try and attempt to do that look you guys know like i said from my first video this would be like my second time ever doing like this type of makeup on camera so it's gonna be like a a trial and error type thing but the first thing I am going to do is try to make my base um, pretty, um, you know, smooth, as smooth as I can make it. So I'm going to take the um, Tarte um, Smoothing Primer to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of mat myself out a little bit so that... The uh, cream will also kind of mat itself out um, when I start to apply it. So I'm just gonna take some of my um, translucent powder, and this is the RCMA powder. You can use whatever translucent powder you have. And I'm gonna make sure that I coat like my entire face because I don't want some parts to be smooth or some parts to be matte. I want like my entire face to be matte. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of my Get A Grip Primer by Pure Cosmetics and I am going to basically just prime my eyebrows, but I just want them mainly to lay down flat against my skin um, instead of just being like wild and crazy because I am going to cover them up and it's better if they're like all just laid flat. And another good reason to um, lay down my brows and use that particular product, it allows anything to um, to adhere a little bit better or to get more payoff, especially around uh, my eyebrow area. So I like using that for that reason and they don't budge, like they legit don't budge. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the face. I am going to take my um, Makeup Forever palette again. This is the Flash palette. And like I said in the other video, I am new to this palette. I'm new to this palette or new to like really getting into the palette and using the palette. So um, yeah, like bear with me. Um, but let's get started. I am also going to be going the old school route. Like I said in the beginning, um, I'm going to be doing the old school, um, Maleficent and, um, I'm going to go green instead of like full on, like, you know, white or clown white. Um, let's pray. I'm going to take a lot of this green and to deepen it up, I want to maybe take a little bit of this black. I want her to be like fairly green, um, more green than anything. All right, so this is the little mixture that I came up with. It's fairly more green than I really want it to be, but I definitely want to try and use 
the product or this deep green to kind of um, do reverse highlighting. So I will use like something lighter uh, a little bit later on to um, basically do the reverse contouring. So I'm just going to take this directly from the spatula to my face so I don't lose any of that product. I want all of that product. I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to take uh, one of these color correcting brushes. Um, these are the Real Techniques color correcting brushes and they basically give me like a really, really good payoff. So I'm gonna use that first. So that powder <laughs> definitely did exactly what I wanted to do, but a little bit better um, than I was, uh, or a little bit more than I was expecting it to do. So I did definitely use more product than I wanted to, um, just in this little area. So go a little light handed whenever you're using um, that powder, or just don't use the powder at all, which I think if I were to do this again, I would use the powder afterwards. So just be careful of that. And I am gonna drag this down because I have on like a slight turtleneck. And I did that on purpose. <laughs> so I don't have to go down as far. You definitely don't have to focus on the center and really around um, my uh, my forehead or my two head or three head, whatever I have, um, because it mainly covers up all of that portion of my face. So I'm taking that light blue in the palette, which is right here, and whatever's left on my pan, which is just a tad bit of the green, I'm gonna take that and mix those two together. And I'm basically gonna use that to kind of highlight my face. And because I don't want that green and that blue to mix anymore, I'm gonna take a different um, Real Techniques brush and I'm going to blend that all out. All right, so now I'm going to take that translucent powder finally, and I am going to try and set my face. There it goes there. Don't forget to set your neck because you don't want it like rubbing off on like all your clothes or other people or not transferring as much. So, because it's a cream, you have to set it in place so it doesn't rub off as much. Because your neck is pretty much a heated area or it will get hot, like, it's gonna rub off. Like, it's going to come off. And if you set it, it won't come off as bad. All right, so like the last villain, they always have like these super, super high arched um, brows. So I'm gonna take that Suva Beauty um, Hydra Liner again, or again. Uh, I'm gonna take that Suva Beauty, highlight, uh, not highlighter, it's, it's called Grease Matte Liner, Cake Liner, and one of my paint brushes from um, Michaels and create a high brow. Um, it kind of starts by the nose and arches in the middle. I did do it up and down, but right here by the nose, I'm gonna kind of like go towards the, uh, the center. So in the picture, um, she just kind of has like a cut crease going on. Uh, with a green liner around it or a darker green liner around it and purple over top of that. So I'm gonna take that mixture that I made with the um, the sea blue um, 
or sky blue like shade from the palette with a tad bit of the green and just put that all over my lid and basically going all the way up to where my actual real life brow is say real life I did say real life <laughs> And just to keep the color, I'm just going to set it with that translucent powder because I like the actual color it came out to be. And we're going to take um, my beauty blender and just pack on some translucent powder. A, um, I think I want to go in with a purple first. And because the whole... Um, it goes all the way up to her brow. Legit, the purple goes up to her brow, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to take um, a deep, not a deep purple, but a basically a, a regular purple shade. And I'm going to take this um, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, which looks like this here. And the first brush I'm going to take is just a little fluffy brush. And I am going to take... I'm going to take this pink and I'm going to take a little bit of that purple. Pink and purple together. And I'm going to go where I ended off that sea blue. And just add that color and start to build it up. So I start to really take more of the uh, pinky shade over here and just press that into my skin or press that on now I'm gonna take that uh, deep purple shade in the palette which is over here underneath that blue and kind of carve out a crease I go back with that bright pink so I lost a little bit of that blue that we had or that sea blue I'm going to take up a little concealer brush and cut that crease with that color again back and to set that I'm gonna just take a small brush and some of that um, that translucent powder just to set that to take that pink shade and add that in the corner just really packing that on So just like that, and then I'm going to go back with that same purple, that deep purple that we had, and add that in the corner. And I'm going to actually bring that out. For my inner corner, to give her some more jazz, I'm going to take the bright yellow, like that smack dab in the center, and I'm going to add that to my inner tear duct area. Switch it up just that fast. I'm gonna take the Morphe 35B palette in this green color and really pack it on there. Yeah, that works. And to contour my nose. I'm going to take um, that color and the sea blue color together and try and contour my nose. And this is just what's ever left on my actual spatula and um, palette, mixing palette. 
I'm gonna take the LA Colors um, graphic liner. I think I am. All right, so that is that. I actually want to add like even more definition. Now I'm gonna take the silvery color. The silvery color is called Aura or Aura. And I know I'm gonna go in this a couple times because I really want like the payout from it. And for my inner corner, I'm going to apply this whimsical over top of that yellow. So for my blush, I'm gonna go back to that 35B palette. But now I'm gonna take my um, Milani blush in Delicioso Pink, which looks like this here. For my lower lash line, I am going to take that deep purple. Well, I'm gonna take a deep purple since I've already got out this 35B palette. I'm gonna take this deep purple right here and I'm going to place that onto my lower lash line. And for my inner tear duct area, I'm gonna take that green. This is the um, Mix Esmeralda. All right, so for lashes, I'm gonna use the brand um, Miss, um, Miss, I think it's Miss 3D Lashes, and they are the 3D Lash M364. All right, so for a highlight, I'm gonna take this green shade from the Masquerade palette and just pat that on with my finger. I highlight a little bit of my brow bone. All right, so I know there's an actual um, LA Splash color, lipstick color called Maleficent, or I do believe there's a color called Maleficent. So if you ever choose like any evil um, queens, evil, um, what you call it, evil villains, 
um, colors you can actually find colors that are definitely um, inspired by the evil queens or evil villains um, on LA Splash's site which are actually like really 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 perfect colors colors that definitely look like what you see in those cartoons or those videos and things like that but I can't find my color so I'm gonna use Evil Queen and Death Dealer both by LA Splash Yes, I pushed the shit out of LA, LA Splash because I actually do really like their lip colors. I like a lot of their products, actually. But I'm going to take Death Dealer and Evil Queen, which are like basically fuchsias. I don't want to do another um, red lip, even though she looks to have like red lips. I want to do like a pink. And I might just end up just using only Dev Diller because I really, really like that color by itself. I was so obsessed with that little mole um, from the Ursula video. So your girl's gonna do it again. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do it again. But I'm gonna, like, it was down here, I think. And now I'm gonna put it up here. So I actually ordered my headpiece from Amazon, so yeah, and it's it's definitely big head friendly because I have a small head and it's a little bit too big for me, so yeah. So in order for me to like get this to fit and stay there, um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but... I'm gonna try a rubber band real fast. Ugh. All right, for the sake of this video and to just have this shit on top of my head, <laughs> I legit got like a um, clip that I would normally clip to like my um, my chips and whatnot. Yeah, it's on the back of my head. Is you know, you guys ain't gotta see all of that. <laughs> Um, but this is definitely a big head friendly piece. Um, the I'm gonna try and link um, my which actual head piece I got from Amazon in the description bar. Um, I think it was about fifteen dollars, or it may have been a little bit less than that. I don't know, but yeah, this is the head piece, and this you guys is the finished look. Y'all can probably see like the jankiness back here, but yeah. Too big. I got a small head. If you enjoyed this look, you guys, definitely give me a thumbs up. Share this video to your Facebook page. Share this video to your Instagram, to your um, Snapchat, to your Twitter, wherever you have, you know, a social platform. Share this video to it. Let people know that there is a video on this here look. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, okay? Hit that subscribe button over here. Is it over here? Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs>